and my relationship with Fran goes back now 30 years. So it's it's unique uh, to have someone you know, hire you now for the third time. And Andy recruited me, uh, so you know, he was the assistant coach that I met when I was you know 15 years old, a sophomore in, in high school. Uh, then he was my assistant coach that you know I played for. We were assistant coaches together. Uh, hired me now for the third time, so. I think our, our families and our lives are pretty well intertwined with each other, and uh, it just hopefully it speaks to the kind of man that Fran McCaffrey is. You know, I think you know so much is can be made or said, or you know, people see highlights, uh, but they don't know the man. And, and I've known Fran and his family for you know so many years, and obviously our families are very close. Uh, and he's just a terrific individual. So I'm excited to be back here with him and have the opportunity to help the Hawkeyes and serve and and hopefully uh, really help our program continue to take steps like we have been since he's been here. Fran said he didn't know if he could get you back this time. Is it just impossible for you to say no to him? <laughs> you know, I haven't successfully said no to him yet, so um, it just tells you what kind of recruiter he is. Uh, you know, he, he's, again, in this business and college coaching, you want to be around the right kind of people. And whether it's administratively or coaching-wise, student-athletes, it's all about who you're around, who you surround yourself with. And being around someone like Fran McCaffrey is, is just fantastic. He, you know, Margaret's, you know, again, she's a very, we're very close with them. And uh, as you guys probably know, Patrick is my godson. So uh, it, that was another kind of draw for me. It was, okay, I've got Patrick coming to the, the Hawkeyes and he'll be on the team. I got Connor, who I've known since he was, you know, a year old. Um, so just that relationship, uh, being able to come back here and and be a part of something special with my godson and with Connor and Fran and Margaret was really just too much to turn down. Was it difficult to stop being a head coach? Or were you, were you trying to kind of get out of that? Yeah. No, I, I love being a head coach. Uh, and, and again, I, I have Fran to thank for that because um, you know, I was 28 years old you know, as his assistant coach at UNC Greensboro, and he was the one that pushed me to go for my first head coaching job. And you know, he helped me get the Lehigh job and. Uh, certainly had a great experience there and five years as a head coach and then Ball State for six years as a head coach. Uh, so I love being a head coach, but I think what you notice about Fran, obviously with uh, myself, Kirk and Sherman and, and Al, that's a lot of head coaching experience. And Fran obviously values guys that have been head coaches, uh, guys that understand the pressures and kind of the expectations of the job and you know won't flinch in, in that environment. So. Um, you know, I, I think again, giving up a head coaching position, but to come work for Fran, where he gives a tremendous amount of autonomy. Um, so you know, he's not a micromanager. You know, he he knows that we understand what he needs as a head coach, and we go out there and we try to successfully get that done for him.